Hello, my friend, and welcome to EMI filter surgery room. In this video, I am going to show you what is the EMI filter and the surgery uh, and open uh, its belly and uh, seeing what is uh, in it. Uh, so, the EMI means electromagnetic interference and it's producing um, mostly in when uh, motors working and uh, switching device or circuits working uh, like a power supply switching or some kind of lamp uh, like a LED lamp that have a circuit switching for uh, providing a power supply you know, of them. So the circuit diagram of the uh, EMI filter is this. In this diagram have two sides, line side and the load side. A line side connecting to your line, your, uh, like uh, your home grid li uh, line, uh, and the load side connecting to your load. Uh, so each EMI filter have uh, three capacitors and the two inductors, and you can watch that uh, the value of the uh, uh, capacitor and the uh, inductors here, and the. Uh, uh, a little uh, no, uh, point that uh, the C1 capacitor number one is MKT form, and uh, we can watch this here. So when I uh, buying an EMI filter from the story, uh, it's it's that EMI filter. Uh, so this EMI filter have a input side and the output side. Most of the time, the ground wire uh, color uh, yellow and green and it's uh, ground uh, output wire so this EMI filter providing uh, can uh, providing just about a 3 ampere in his out in this its output so uh, uh, when I uh, what I need a bigger ampere uh, I must buying another ones and this one uh, values uh, caching it's uh, two uh, multiply than this one so when I opening the EMI capacitor belly and uh, see it's a really simple uh, circuits uh, uh, so maybe it's uh, laughing here and why it's uh, cost is really uh, bigger than ones uh, so uh, when I uh, see this capaci uh, capacitor here it's a really uh, uh, easy and uh, re not good uh, uh, quality Chinese MKT, uh, MKT capacitor and it's uh, uh, really easy to find in the story uh, a toroid core with a uh, with a green coating that providing a core for the inductors and uh, uh, for each inductors have about a 10 uh, round wire about is 10 round and it's a 10 round uh, 10 round here and uh, another 10 round and 10 round here and uh, two really cheap capacitors here so when I uh, need to uh, increase uh, increasing this uh, EMI filter current uh, can provide for my load I just need to changing its wire and really easy. I think it's about a uh, twenty-two. I think if I if I uh, say true, uh, about a twenty-two AWG wire, and uh, I can uh, uh, using a uh, another wire with a bigger d diameter, uh, and um, my output current easily. Uh, become increase uh, so even though I can uh, changing the core um, coating and increase uh, the permeability and using a less uh, 
round wire around it and make maybe bigger one using maybe bigger one uh, like these scores I make it uh, for my myself uh, or maybe a bigger one like this one so the EMI filter is a really easy to use uh, and uh, it's, pro it's uh, provide a better condition and better supply for your uh, circuit when you're using it in uh, uh, your uh, your circuit that have a uh, microcontroller or um, another uh, sometimes maybe I use uh, a telecommunication uh, boards modules and act so uh, one point that EMI filter uh, cause it have a two uh, inductors. It's uh, some uh, it's a take effect uh, some in a change in your output uh, phase of your sinusoidal input. I mean it's uh, if you are uh, entering the EMI filter a sinusoidal uh, wave and that's it's uh, starting in a zero from this side uh, and when you catch this uh, in output in a load side and uh, see it with oscilloscope uh, you can see that uh, it's have a little shifting phase uh, and it's a uh, effect of the EMI filter in your circuits thank you for watching this video and have a good time